Photoshop Elements is a nice program to edit your photos. In this video, we'll learn to use Photoshop Elements 2022. Now, of course you can purchase or use the free trial, but I won't waste your time by showing you all that. We'll jump into the good stuff straight away. So let's get into it. When you open the tool, this is what you see. This is a sort of introduction screen where you can open both Photoshop and Premiere Elements. Let's click here to open the software. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Photoshop Elements. It uses primary navigation with options on the top and a toolbox on the left. If you find your interface different, then I don't care. <laughs> Just kidding. Go to this window option and click on the reset panels option and you're good to go. Also, you can enable and disable specific panels here, although I don't think that's necessary. You can create a blank file or open a file in the files menu. The blank file displays this window. Here we can set the document name, size and dimensions, color mode and background contents. Of course we have those options to get the perfect photo size. Also the image size here changes as we change those. Let's open a few photos. Alright, Photoshop Elements has three main interfaces, quick, guided and expert. Not export, expert. The quick panel comes with the simple tools on the left. Those include zoom, hand, eye correction, white teeth, text and a few more. As you click on a tool, you get to see the sub tools down below. To see your photos, click on this photo bin option. Like any other program, Elements uses some shortcuts. You can use the alt key with the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Holding space and clicking and moving the mouse moves the image. You also have tool shortcuts. For example, the selection tool can be enabled by pressing A and the crop tool with the button C. You can also hold Ctrl and press the key Z to undo the last edit or Ctrl plus Y to redo the undone edit. To the right, we have adjustments. Those options use artificial intelligence to make your photo look better. Under each, you find this slider and some options. You can choose one of those or click on this auto button for the AI to work its magic. Now let's go to the guided mode. The guided panel is where you learn to use this tool because you see lots of tutorials categorized above. Each tutorial represents a specific feature of this program. With the mouse, you can see what you can expect from a tutorial. Clicking on one allows you to apply the tutorial edit by following the simple steps. Once you are done with those steps, click on the next button to save the image or share it on social media. Hopefully you'll get some more likes. The expert mode is where you take control of everything. It's like shifting the plan from auto mode to manual mode. The tool adopts the look of Photoshop but in more sophisticated way. You also see two colors here, one for the background and one for the foreground. In this mode, we also have layers, filters and styles options. The layers are basically edits. You get to see each edit as a layer to edit photos like a pro. You can enable and disable them move them around and delete them if you like. I won't go through each tool, but the next few seconds will show you all the available tools in Photoshop Elements. You can skip this part if you like. The filters option is a few filters. Each filter comes with its own set of options. Styles are just some frame type things to give your photos a distinguished look. You can try one by clicking on it. Alright, the next part is exploring some other options. Down the bottom, you have options such as rotating the image, opening Adobe Organizer, changing the software layout and opening the home screen. To the right, we have some effects to apply. Each effect comes with this intensity option to adjust the effect. On the top here, you can create your own stuff. These include creating a slideshow, photo book, collage, DVD label and more. Of course, clicking on each opens up a new interface with its own set of tools. At any time, this drop-down allows comparing the original photo with the edited photo. Just like adjustments, the tool uses AI to select the subject. Under Select, if you click on the Select Subject option, the program will find the subject. You can then apply the adjustments from here that only affect the subject. You can also quickly select the subject or anything else by choosing the Quick Selection tool under the Selection options and using your mouse with the left button clicked. This gives you more power while selecting. To deselect a selection, right click and click on deselect. Anyhow, 
Let's talk about saving the photo. You can go to the file menu and click on the save option. This will open up a save dialog with the format down the bottom. If you choose the Photoshop file, the saved file can be opened in Photoshop Elements as well as Photoshop. You can also save the file for the web. This compresses the file so that you can upload it to social media or your website. Alright, thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments and thumbs up if the video helped. I'll catch you later. Until then, take care.